I'm talking to arguably the most popular scientist in the universe ever, Professor Neil deGrasse Tyson. This is no ordinary object. It is an ancient wanderer from beyond the stars, now racing toward our sun with unnerving speed. For weeks, Earth's most powerful telescopes have locked onto this mysterious glow, drifting across the sky, searching for answers. But instead of clarity, their gaze has uncovered deeper riddles. And now the clock is ticking. Soon this enigma will vanish, swallowed by the blinding light of our sun, leaving us with nothing but questions. What exactly is this strange visitor? Officially, it bears the name Three Eye Atlas, the third interstellar object ever detected. That name alone reveals something astonishing. It does not belong to our solar system at all, but instead comes from the distant reaches of the Milky Way. Is there anyone else have, out there, Professor? Uh, anyone? You mean just life at all? Yes. Probably. Scientists suspect it may have emerged from a solar system twice as old as our own star, a relic from a cosmic era long before Earth itself formed. To witness such a phenomenon is rare. In all of human history, we have only identified two others like it. The first was the infamous Oumuamua, the cigar-shaped intruder that drifted past us in 2017 and defied every natural explanation we threw at it. And now, Three Eye Atlas has arrived, already proving to be even stranger, even harder to explain, and perhaps more dangerous than we ever imagined. After Oumuamua came the second visitor, Two Eye Borisov. It became the overlooked middle child of these cosmic intruders, mostly because it behaved exactly as it appeared, like a comet. It looked like a comet, it trailed like a comet, and that's almost certainly what it was. Yet, even so, Borisov carried the extraordinary title of being a comet born under another star, crossing the infinite gulf of space to briefly pass our sun. That alone should have been astonishing, but compared to the oddities of today's arrival, Borisov now feels almost ordinary. How much do you think we know, and how much do you think we don't know about what's out there? That's a great question, and uh, I can actually quantify that answer. For scientists, Three Eye Atlas has quickly emerged as our most extraordinary chance yet to study a truly alien mystery. And here's where it gets even stranger. The deeper we dig, the stranger it becomes. Officially, the object was first detected on July 1st, 2025, by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, the very network that gave it its name. At that point, it drifted between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, leaning closer to Jupiter's grasp. But hidden in the archives, an earlier sighting was uncovered. On May 7, 2025, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, better known as TESS, had unknowingly captured its image. TESS, designed to hunt for faraway alien worlds, never flagged it. Yet there it was, Three Eye Atlas, already gliding silently between Saturn and Jupiter. The numbers themselves tell a haunting story of speed. When NASA launched the Voyager probes on a direct sprint toward Jupiter, it took them nearly two years, 18 to 23 months, to reach that distant orbit. Three Eye Atlas, however, is moving on an entirely different scale. Spotted near Jupiter back in May, it was already sliding past Mars by September, and by October 29th, it will skim perilously close to the Sun. Then, as if slingshotting away, it will rocket back past Jupiter's orbit again by next spring. That furious pace leaves no doubt. This is an interstellar traveler. Its path follows what scientists call a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it is moving far too fast for our sun's immense gravity to ever capture it. It is not a new member of our solar system. It is simply passing through, unstoppable, unclaimed. But here's where the puzzle deepens. So there, there are these things, there's dark matter you might have heard about. So dark matter is 85%, it's responsible for 85% of the gravity in the universe, and we have no idea what it is, but we can measure it. There's dark energy responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. We can measure that, but we don't know what's causing it. And then you add up all of these sort of, what these forces are doing in the universe, it's 96% of what's driving the universe. And all the forces of nature that we know and love, gravity, uh, electromagnetism, the strong and weak nuclear forces, life, chemistry, biology, physics, that's in 4% of the universe. So we know enough about the universe to quantify our ignorance. So we know 4% of what's going on out there. Tess observations revealed that even when Atlas was drifting beyond Jupiter, far from the sun's heat, it already burned strangely bright. And over the next three weeks, its brightness surged even further. That doesn't fit the usual script. 
Ordinary comets are icy time capsules, frozen lumps of water, rock, dust, and gas. They only begin to shine when they drift closer to the sun. Their surface is cracking and boiling into brilliant tails. In the vacuum of space, there is no room for liquid, only extremes. When ice warms up out there, it doesn't melt into water the way it does on Earth. Instead, it leaps directly from solid to gas in a process called sublimation. This transformation is what gives comets their iconic glow, a shimmering halo of gas and dust called the coma. And here's the key. Ordinary water ice comets don't light up like this until they cross inside Jupiter's orbit, where the sun's warmth finally stirs them awake. But on May 7th, when TESS captured its first ghostly image of 3I Atlas, the object was still far beyond Jupiter, in territory where a comet should have remained frozen and dark. Yet it was already blazing, its brightness swelling day by day, proving sublimation had already begun. That single fact means if Atlas is truly a comet, then it is a comet unlike any we have ever witnessed before. Even the infamous Oumuamua showed no signs of this behavior at all. No coma, no visible trail, nothing but silence. Three-Eye Atlas is its opposite, bursting with activity when logic says it should have been dormant. And Borisov? That one behaved exactly like we expected a comet to behave, familiar despite its alien origins. Through July and August, as Three-Eye Atlas crept closer, the strangeness only deepened. Its coma began to stretch into a tail, something perfectly normal for a comet. But this one broke the rules. Instead of streaming away from the sun as expected, its tail began pointing toward it. To understand why this is bizarre, remember how comets usually behave. The sun doesn't just shine, it blasts a constant stream of charged particles outward, what we call the solar wind. That wind acts like an invisible cosmic fan, sweeping back the gas and dust, boiling off a comet's icy surface. This is why comet tails always extend away from the sun, no matter which direction they're traveling. Imagine a dog leaning its head out of a speeding car window, the rushing air pushing its ears and face backward. That's the natural order of things. But now, picture something far stranger. The dog leans out the window, and instead of its face blowing back, it stretches forward, pulled against the wind itself. That's the cosmic absurdity astronomers were confronted with. Three-Eye Atlas seemed to defy physics, as though its tail was resisting the solar wind, forming in the direction of the sun, as if the rules that govern every comet we've ever known suddenly no longer applied. Astronomers, desperate for answers, turned the full might of humanity's greatest observatories toward Three-Eye Atlas. Hubble focused its ancient eye, James Webb adjusted its mirrors, even the strange cone-shaped SPHEREX satellite, built to trace the origins of the universe, was brought into play. TESS-2 was summoned for a second look, this time with a sharper awareness of what it might be watching. It was Webb, NASA's most advanced observatory, that delivered the most revealing data yet, and with it, a fresh storm of questions. The readings exposed the composition of the glowing coma that enveloped Atlas. To everyone's shock, it wasn't dominated by water ice, as nearly all comets are. Instead, its halo burned almost entirely with carbon dioxide. Yes, there were traces of water present, but in a bizarre and unnatural ratio. The CO2 to H2O balance came in at 8 to 1, meaning Atlas contains 16 times more carbon dioxide than any average comet we have ever recorded. The latest data revealed something staggering. The cloud of carbon dioxide surrounding 3I Atlas is colossal, stretching with a radius of nearly 300,000 kilometers. To put that in perspective, that's almost half the size of our sun itself far larger than anyone dared to predict back in July. Such an immense halo also hints that the object buried within this haze might be far larger than first imagined. Early estimates placed the solid core at perhaps 20 kilometers wide. Later refinements suggested closer to 11 kilometers. But new calculations, informed by the enormity of the coma, point to a core possibly 46 kilometers across. That's massive by human standards, though not unprecedented. Some comets within our own solar system boast nuclei exceeding 100 kilometers in width. Yet, the unsettling detail lies not in its size, but in its chemistry. Instead of the water-rich halo that defines most comets, Atlas is drowning in carbon dioxide, with barely a trace of water to balance it. The ratios are inverted, completely wrong, suggesting this object was born in a star system built on alien ingredients, a world where the raw materials of creation differ drastically from our own. It is, by every definition, alien. But the question that now lingers, chilling in its implication, is this. Was 3i Atlas simply formed in a strange and ancient system? Or was it deliberately made? 
This past summer, yet another strange clue surfaced, this time from Chile's aptly named Very Large Telescope. And yes, that really is its name, because it's huge. While observing 3i Atlas, the VLT made a baffling detection, nickel metal glimmering in the coma. But here's the twist. There was no sign of iron at all. At first glance, that might not sound dramatic. But in the language of the cosmos, it's deeply unsettling. Iron and nickel are cosmic siblings. They are born together, forged in the fiery hearts of dying stars and hurled into space by the violence of supernova explosions. Because of this shared origin, they are always found side by side. Asteroids, moons, planetary cores, all carry both metals. They are inseparable. The only time we ever see nickel standing alone is here on Earth, when humans deliberately separate it from iron through industrial processes. So, how then does a so-called comet drifting in from deep interstellar space flaunt pure nickel without its eternal partner? The answer is, we don't know. And that's exactly why astronomers are whispering the word that refuses to go away. Aliens. Speculation runs wild, and for once it isn't baseless fantasy. These theories simply take the hard data. Nickel without iron, bizarre chemical ratios, unnatural brightness, and spin the possibilities further. Could 3i Atlas be some form of artificial craft? A probe designed with unfamiliar materials? Theories multiply because the evidence itself demands questions. And remember, we already know Atlas surged in brightness as it passed near Jupiter. Yes, moving closer to the sun doesn't explain the sudden surge in brightness we recorded. One possibility is early sublimation, driven by the object's unusually high CO2 content. It may be venting gas far earlier than any comet should, but the data lets the mind wander. Could this be an artificial probe, a machine flipping its lights on as it enters our neighborhood? There are bolder ideas too. Some suggest the vast CO2 halo hides a colossal vessel filled with living organisms, exhaling carbon dioxide and venting waste into space. I've even heard it proposed that 3i Atlas is itself a living entity, consuming dust and gas and releasing CO2 as an organic byproduct. At present, no one can rule these scenarios out with absolute certainty. That doesn't make them likely. The nickel anomaly and strange chemistry probably have natural causes, but science admits its uncertainties. Because of that doubt, astronomers are racing to collect every observation they can in the small window we have, trying to turn speculation back into hard evidence before 3i Atlas slips beyond reach. In early October, a rare opportunity opens before us. 3i Atlas will swing past Mars at a distance of about 28 million kilometers, still vast, but close enough for science to finally sharpen its gaze. Two European orbiters, Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, will turn their high-resolution cameras and color imagers toward the visitor, trying to pierce its luminous shroud. No, we won't be treated to a perfect postcard-like close-up, but with luck, the instruments should reveal more than a blur of light. They may be able to separate the glowing coma from the solid object within, offering the first hints of its true shape. Whether it's a jagged chunk of ice, a smooth metallic body, or something that defies every expectation, this chance is fleeting. By late October, Atlas will slip behind the sun from Earth's perspective, hidden by the blinding glare. We will lose sight of it entirely until December. By March 16, 2026, 3i Atlas will be making its final bow, sweeping past Jupiter at a distance of 53 million kilometers. That's still unimaginably far, but we may yet have one last set of eyes on it. NASA's Juno spacecraft has been circling Jupiter since 2016 faithfully sending back data long past its prime. Its official mission was set to conclude in September 2025, with plans to send the probe plunging into Jupiter's depths in a fiery farewell. But now, an alternate idea has surfaced. What if Juno's swan song wasn't destruction, but pursuit? Its dying mission could be redirected to intercept 3i Atlas as it races out of the solar system, perhaps capturing precious final data before it slips into the dark. Imagine our last aging scout chasing an interstellar mystery into the abyss. As strange and bewildering as this journey has already been, it's not finished. There are more revelations ahead, and likely more riddles waiting to twist everything we think we know. That is the beauty and the terror of moments like this. Answers are fleeting, but the questions never stop. If you enjoyed this dive into the mystery of 3i Atlas, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave your thoughts in the comments. And as always, see you on the next one.